What's up guys, Max here, and today we want to learn how to make a countdown timer within Premiere Pro, not using like After Effects or anything like that. So let's get started. So I have a blank sequence inside of uh, Premiere Pro, just make a blank one. Uh, we're going to drag in a transparent video, so do new, transparent video. We need footage with nothing on it. So let's make it like 30 seconds. Um, go to effects, then type in time C, which metadata and time code built in, which jumps in. We need to change a few settings here in the effect controls. Let's do not source time code. Let's do a uh, sequence time code right here, which puts time code on our screen. Then we can increase the uh, the, the size or the right here, the 8.4% is the one we want. Move it over and it does this, right? It counts all the way up. So it goes all the way to like 30 or ish. You know, if it was exact, just type in 3000 and then uh, move this down to 30. Now it goes all the way to 30. This is a 30 second countdown timer. Now we have our sequence made, this is what we need. We wanted a 30 second countdown timer. So let's go to our vertical video, which is here, that does this. Um, and this is gonna be a countdown from 30 or whatever we need. Um, go back to our project, let's find our sequence two, which is this, we drag it in, um, the one we just created, and it's counting up. We need to reverse it. So right click, speed and duration, let's do reverse. Great, now it's counting down from 30 as intended. Um, blah, 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 just like so. Um, from here, let's uh, do blend mode, let's do screen. It gets rid of that black. Then we can actually go right here, click crop. We can crop off the uh, the sides here. Um, and if we just want like the seconds to be counting down and no little seconds. So you can crop it however you want. And then you can move this to the center. Let's put these guides on to find the center. And now we're gonna have a 30 second countdown timer. I did not crop it perfectly, <laughs> that needs to be fixed. Um, and there you go. That's how you make a countdown timer in Premiere Pro. And I'll just like duplicate this clip a few times just so we can get the full countdown. And it's gonna count all the way down to zero. Perfect. Now, if you're really curious and you wanna know what this looks like on TikTok or Instagram, you can download our social overlay pack. Just comment pack down below. It also has tons of over overlays for that are helpful, like black bars and stuff. Um, let's see what it looks like under Instagram. Uh, right click this, fit to frame, and this is what this looks like under Instagram. As you can see, the countdown is under the description and where like the profile would be. So I would probably move this one up. I'd probably put it like right here so it doesn't look as bad on screen. And now it looks proper. It's where it's gonna be. Um, this also works for TikTok. You can see it'll be in a nice spot, so on and so forth. As always, guys, I'm Max. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for being a part of the channel. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. And right before we finish up, I'll plug it one more time. Uh, feel free to check out filmit.io. It is a resource for creatives made by creatives, a.k.a. me and a small team of developers.